Wait, wasn't that yeah, that's the Tyler Milk Mug guy? Is he the one with the, all the pictures? Is he the one with the, all the pictures? They had all the cartoons by that cartoonist. Yeah. Oh, those cartoons are great. I thought some of them were over the top. Oh my goodness. How can they put them in safer? It shows, it shows the world sitting on a toilet and the contents of the toilet come out of the computer screen of the Haredi guy's house. It shows that you should stay off the internet. That is a real graphic depiction, but it's kind of accurate, basically. All the schmutz that exists in the outside world can be brought to a person, Derek which just goes to show you how, how dangerous it could be. I remember talking to Rabbi Sharfer about this on the bus a few years ago. That, yeah, you're, you're a Rabbi Sharfer. Because he used to ride the bus. Now I don't go anywhere, so not on the bus. So he said two things. It used to be the buses went into the central bus station. Our local buses used to be, you could pick them up at the beginning of the route in the central bus station, the end of the route at the central bus station, inside. And one time, because of the circumstances of the traffic jam, they're just going to let people off at what's called the Kinesala ear. And he was so excited. Good, let's get off the bus now. So we don't have to go into the central bus station and, and see what's there. That was the first thing. And then I was I was saying that when you have plumbing in your house, your plumber knows that the pipes that bring in the clean water are kept entirely separate from the BU. The BU and the clean water pipes have nothing to do with each other. They're made of different things. They're different systems entirely, right? Plumbers work with both of them. But they know they're completely separate. If you were to connect somehow and say, like, this pipe will be used for both sewage and for fresh water, you'll have a major problem. Okay? There are two different things. The internet can be used as a water supply. Fresh water supply, uncontaminated, if you do it right. But if you don't, it's basically the sewage system. Okay? It just depends. How is your internet? What are you putting on it? So you have to make sure that when you build... So you, when you build your your house, when you build your city, you have to make sure that you're smart, that you keep the fresh water system separate from the sewer system. Yeah, you could. So some people do it. They have a way of building it. You have to build it. You have to build it clean. Which is why I think that I'm not I'm not such a free speech type of person myself. I think people who put bad stuff on the internet are committing crimes against you know basically they're criminals. Just like in the olden days, B'nai Noach have a mitzvah to enforce laws against uh, laws about Gilu Rayos. That's that's forbidden. It's like ra the rabbi pointed out, it used to be secular governments did have systems that that punished, for example, sodomy. Mishkav Zachar. That used to be against the law in certain countries. So that was a good thing. They got rid of that. In which country? Saudi Arabia, yeah. But in let's say the Western world, they, they took it off the books. Also adultery used to be a problem. Now it's it's just something that people do. Yeah, it's a big problem. It's against the law. Okay, well, in some places, some places it's not. 